today we got the Redmi 9 microphone not working the customer told me that there is no sound during calls so let's test I can see I'm speaking but nothing maybe there is a sign of speaking that means the microphone is damaged alright I'm testing to see what I'm going to change or replace before I proceed with my works I can't hear anything it's just shh doing that so we are going to replace the microphone in this video continue watching to see how to replace the microphone for the Redmi 9 let's do it remove the sim card tray the first thing you do then you can detach the frame from the housing you can use any plastic piece or you can use your hands the same as I did always you have to be patient while you are doing your work or your job sometimes if you go in a hurry you could broke something in this model of the phone we have fingerprint flex cable connected at the back you have to be careful when you remove the housing in a angle that you don't or not cut the flex cable you can see the way I'm doing that with caution to prevent doing any accidental damage as always the customer brought the device to fix it for him not to make additional damage this is the model of the Redmi 9 all right we have two screw and one shield protect the fingerprint flex cable you have to remove both screw after that you can unplug that flex cable all right I'm going to the bottom remove all screws no need to unplug the battery if this is the first time you are doing maintenance I advise you to remove the top shield and unplug the battery it's better to do that if you have a long time doing maintenance or repair all right the down bottom it's the loudspeaker shield it's out we have loudspeaker so the the sounds goes from the piece in the left all right I'm looking if there is some dust anything uh, nothing in there so nothing prevent the voice to reach the microphone so we are going to replace it we are going to proceed to replace it we have one screw uh, you have to to know it's a green screw right and it's in one position you have to know not to put another screw or you will go under the screen or LCD remember the it's a different uh, length or different size so you can't put the another or the black on the green position be careful so the first thing I did it's to unplug the flex cable connected again and see if we have something but unfortunately we didn't got anything so we always uh, think about we maybe got luck that there is no issue or damage with the something we are going to work with so we try all the solution to fix it if we can't solve that we going all the way to the replace a new piece so I'm going to put the subboard into the microscope the camera can't record uh, the microscopic so and a small tip for you if you don't need to proceed with this for with me with the microscope you can just replace the subboard with a new one so you will get a new microphone uh, with the subboard and working microphone but for me I'm going to proceed and replace the microphone itself you can consider subscribing 
All right, you can hit the hitting gun with four and two twenty Celsius degree to remove the microphone. But when you put the new one, you can't put that Celsius, all right, or that degree. This is a low melt soldering. It's about twenty four. 2400 or 240 uh, Celsius degree that can melt I can't remember exactly I have two models 183 degree and the second it's about maybe 260 mm, I can't remember so the new microphone can't survive the heating so it could be damaged during the operation so uh, it's recommended to use a low melt soldering so then you can solder the new microphone it's a very maybe difficult job if you are doing for the first time or the second time or the tenth time it's not easy to replace a microphone it's very sensitive you may damage the microphone and you are going to put another one in the next in the next try you did so every try you maybe need a new microphone or you can test it with the multimeter if it's still working or not i'm removing all the residue and cleaning with the alcohol after that i'm going to put some uh, amping paste i'm cleaning the hole it's everything is nice now all right this is the amptic flux we are going to put some we need the uh, soldering to stick and connect to the microphone this is very important and the de degree is very important you, you can go over uh, 320 celsius degree this is the top you can go I I think because I go more than this and the microphone goes damaged so I'm telling you from experience don't go above 320 Celsius all right I think I'm done I'm going first to hear the subboard after you see the soldering is melting you can grab the microphone and put it in the position and go over and forth to make the soldering connected from under the microphone so I think we are done now we are going to assemble and test but we are done I promise as I told you, you don't have to go through this process. You can just replace the support with a new one. It's maybe five dollar uh, extra. You can just buy maybe a new one and end your misery. All right, now let's put everything back as it was. We are going now to test. This is the sticker or the rubber was on the charging port. You have to put everything back as it was. No need to remove some parts. You think it's not necessary to put there. And don't forget about the one screw I told you about. We have a green and black. You have to put the green one on the subboard. The size, the different size may always differ, uh, cause it damage for you. So remember what screws you remove, what screws you put in. This is very important for anyone who making repairs. Because he could end up, the screw goes from the other way or in the different direction and causing damage. All right, now we can test. Oh, test one, test two, test three. Hello, test one. 
So let's now put everything was, everything was, everything like it was. As before, we are going to put all the screws down and then we are going to plug the flex cable of the fingerprint. After that, we will close the main housing and that will be for today. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the support the channel. Also, you can support the channel by donating on PayPal with a few cents. We will do something else in the next video. Peace.